Summer is here, which means we're going to be getting into a bikini and for some of us we have specific body goals, whether we want to tone up, lose weight, get abs, but a big part of that is what we put into our body. So I want to share with you three weight loss, fat loss meal ideas that will help us get summer body ready. For me, a big part of these meals have to be low carb, low sugar, nutritious, satiating. We want to be feeling full and not left feeling hungry after our meals, but most importantly, they have to be delicious. Delicious. Let's cook. Hello my darlings, today is recipe number one and on the menu we have fresh tuna steak. Now let me tell you, a few years ago I wouldn't have been seen dead next to tuna. Tinged tuna, even today, makes me feel sick the texture the smell it doesn't add up why do animals go in a tin is beyond my belief but nathan did get me into fresh tuna steaks and if you haven't tried them unbelievable so before we were doing frozen tuna steaks from aldi then i discovered that sainsbury's did fresh tuna steaks and it takes it to a whole other level a little bit bougie for a monday but absolutely delicious nevertheless so let's get into the ingredients for tonight's recipe of fresh tuna steak and veggies in the oven i've got the kale in there with a little bit of seasoning on top of those and i've also popped in the aubergine and i was going to add a little bit of parmigiano onto the aubergine for a little bit of twisty flavor but i got it out of the fridge and it was rotten it was full of mold mortifying honestly half of it was all green don't know how cheese can go moldy that goes over my brain so i had to think on my feet and i pulled out this stunning soft blue cheese if you haven't tried this before the brand is Casteo creamy blue rich and creamy with a delicate sharpness I'm obsessed with blue cheese normal crumbly blue cheese and this is amazing I really like adding blue cheese to vegetables because it can be a little bit boring and it just adds a little bit of a nice twist and flavor so that's in the oven ready to go and next on my agenda I need to season the tuna steak Dinner is served. What would you rate my dinner out of ten? Eight and a half. Eight and a half? Yeah. Where was it lacking? Really lacking but considering, it was healthy, considering it was healthy. I mean, it's ten out of ten years, you can be happy with it. I'll take eight and a half. Skating, I came in. Could be beige and tree or Haitian. 550 on trainers. Him and been a vacation. We come through like Funky Friday. Bro, this guy's a genius. <laughs> yeah, he's talking about the shoes, isn't he? He's not talking about shoes, Harry. It's a metaphor. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Hello, loves. It is day number two of recipes, and I am absolutely exhausted you can probably see it under my eyes look at those bags i'm just i'm struggling i'm trying to get back into going to the gym at 6 a.m and i'm just written off i'm absolutely cream crackered but it won't stop me from eating it won't stop me from cooking i love food too much to not feed myself so on the menu today we have a spicy prawn pasta obviously this is keto this is low carb so i am replacing the pasta with courgette now that is a blessing in disguise because let me tell you i think i have a gluten problem self-diagnosed maybe a hypochondriac but whenever i have gluten my tummy expands it goes really round really sore it gets gurgles so really it's quite good that i do carb replacements in the week and i can just leave the pasta and the gluten to sometimes having on occasion at the weekend or on holidays but let's cook Still, still, still with me all the time 
never toot your own horn but if you don't toot your own horn who is gonna toot your horn basically that meal was stunning absolutely beautiful I haven't had duck in ages and it's just such a nice treat had a nice glass of red wine on the side but that is the meal done and it's actually at squash so he's gonna have his after but quickly I just wanted to show you a delivery I've got recently do you know what the funny thing is as well I just said to you about two to my own horn and oh my god that meal was stunning it was an oven meal I literally just threw it all into the oven <laughs> And there's me thinking I'm Gordon Ramsay and I've done an elaborate, exquisite, beautiful, delicious, complicated Michelin meal. No, I just threw it into the oven. So Gordon Ramsay, I am not. But I did get a Nike order recently that I just want to quickly show you. Basically, I'm out of white trainers. I've got my Air Forces, but they're absolutely battered. I've had them for about two years now and it's just time for some new ones. So I picked up these. These are the Air Max 270s and I absolutely love them. Let me show you the right way round. Look at these. They've obviously got the normal bubble that Air Max have, but what I really like about them is this silver little tag. I just think that they're really sporty, cool, chill, yet they've got a little bit of something about them, a little bit different, quite girly, quite sweet. And I just really like them. Got loads of different colours running throughout. So it's obviously white, but then it's got this gorgeous cream and then a transparent bubble. And I just think it's just something nice than an all white trainer isn't it issue is is that they're slightly too small i got them in a what size did i get six and a half and oh, they're okay but we all know when the toe is just slightly too much at the top and if i'm thinking that now then there's no point i mean i don't know what size i am because obviously i had my toe surgery and i did buy a pair of trainers back after i had my toe surgery in a seven but they feel too big so i thought okay let me get these in a six and a half now these are snuck so what size am I? I guess it depends on the trainer style, doesn't it, realistically, obviously. So yeah, really obsessed with these, but I'm definitely going to have to exchange. And then also, I picked up a new little gym bag. How sweet is this? So basically, I have left Pure Gym. It wasn't doing anything for me. All of the classes were a bit rubbish. It was ramo every single time I went, even if I went before work, after work. So I've joined Nuffield and I thought, you know what? I need a gym bag because Nuffield, Nuffield have a sauna. Nuffield have a jacuzzi. Nuffield have a steam room. Oh, it's just the best place ever. It's just a brilliant place to be healthy. So anyway, this bag is absolutely brilliant. Let me just open it up so you can see inside. Bam! <laughs> so what I loved about it is it's actually got a part for your water. Look at that section there. So your water stays still, it doesn't fall over, it doesn't spill, which I absolutely love. And it's just got so many compartments. I was struggling because I didn't have a bag to put in my towel, my bikini or swimming costume, my gym gear. 
I take bands and skipping ropes and things like that. So it can all go in this bag and it's just super duper cute. It's even got a back pocket, I can put my car key in. Absolutely love that. It's quite expensive to be fair, it's 40 quid. And I was like, oh, should I? When I can literally get like a 10 pound canvas one from ASOS. But I thought, you know what? You girl, you're trying to be healthy. You're trying to be strong, go to the gym consistently. And I tricked my brain into spending money so I could work out. I said, you know what? If you get that bag, you've got to work out. And that's exactly what's happened. I've been to the gym six times since Sunday. It's Friday and I've been every day since Sunday. It So proud of myself, so proud of myself. So get a gym that you like to go to. But that brings me to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got some good recipe ideas. Obviously, I think I'm Gordon Rambo when I'm absolutely not. I'm just doing oven meals, but we need variety. We need different types of meals for different parts of the week. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.